Hi, I'm Stephen the Pet Man from Big Apple Pet Supply, and guess what? Today I have one of the most popular items that we sell on all of our entire website. It is the BAH 1000 SC thermostat. It's a fantastic thermostat. It's economical. It's safe to use. And today I'm going to talk about how you utilize this and what makes this such a great thermostat. Um, as I mentioned before, it is one of the most accurate and reliable thermostats on the market. Short of being a proportional thermostat, it is an on-off thermostat. So what does that mean? It works like your temperature controller in your house, your thermostat in your house. So you would set the temperature, it will hit the temperature that you set it for, shut off, drop down a few degrees, and come back on. So that's how it cycles. So when you think of this thermostat, think of the one that you use in your house, and you'll have a good idea of how this works. This thermostat's kind of special, though, for a few reasons. It has what we call the electronic IC smart chip technology in it. And what that does is it makes sure that the unit is operating correctly at the temperature and that it doesn't overload. So the smart chip will also, in case that you put more than the amount or the wattage, the, the unit is designed so that it will shut down instead of just keep heating and heating um, and potentially causing damage or, or worse to your reptile or the animals where the uh, controller is being utilized. So it has some functionality as a fail-safe mechanism as well. Um, basically, utilizing or working with this thermostat is very simple, and I'm going to show you how this works. This is a typical setup with a dome and a bulb. And how you would utilize this is you would simply plug into any one of the three receptacles on this on this piece here, uh, the power, it, it actually has a place to put three different units. So if you had, let's say, three 100-watt ceramic emitters or three 100-watt basking spots, it could also be 350 watts. They should be the same, pretty much the same size if you're going to use one controller. You don't want to use like a 150-watt ceramic emitter and a 60-watt ceramic emitter and plug them both in here and expect it to work on two different enclosures because you only have one probe. So I'll get a little bit more into that once I show you how this works. Basically, this dome plug plugs into the bottom of the thermostat. And then, once you have that plugged in, the power cord from the thermostat goes into your wall socket. And instantly you see it started on. Now I have to set to 80, and I know it's not 80 degrees in this room. So the bulb is trying to achieve the 80 degrees. Now, the most important part of this is the probe. It's on a generous six-foot lead, and the probe must be in a place where whatever it's attempting to heat uh, so that the bulb knows what, what it's doing. So, in other words, if you have this set to, we're going to set this to, let's say, 82 degrees on the dial. You put the probe here, and you want the probe to be somewhere within 8 to 12 inches of the heating source. If the probe is not close enough to the heating source, it will never turn off. It will just keep heating to the full potential of the bulb. Because the sensor is what dictates when this unit is going to shut off. So the closer it is to the source, the faster it's going to shut on and off. The further away, the hotter the basking area. So you want to kind of calibrate this temperature along with possibly another thermometer or laser thermometer to see what your basking area is. So you might even want to shoot the probe with a laser thermometer if you have one. And then you can really see what's going on at your basking point. So again, whether you're using a ceramic emitter, a basking spot, or what other, whatever kind of heating, you need to have your probe in the correct place so that it is keeping an accurate temperature. If you're using a heat mat, the, this needs to go directly on the heat mat. So you would actually tape this to the top of the heat mat to see what's going on on the heat mat temperature. Because if you put it a few, if you put it a few inches above the heat mat, it's going to have no idea what's going on with the heat mat, and it's not going to be controlled correctly. So you need to utilize the probe correctly for the type of heating source you are using. If you're using FlexWatt heat tape, you need to have this probe maybe on the inside of the cage. If your FlexWatt's under the cage, on the inside directly above. The, the heat tape on the floor of the cage. So again, it's important where you place the probe and you're going to have to 
utilize sometimes some judgment when doing that. If you have a problem or a question, then you call us. We'll be happy to solve that for you or help you design where you need to place the probe. Okay, so basically all you do is set the temperature on here, and if we turn it down, we'll notice that it, all, it knows that it has already achieved the temperature and it has shut down. So again, that's how that cycle works. Um, the differential is typically about three degrees, and what do I mean by that? It means that if you set it to 80, it's going to hit 80, it's going to drop down about three degrees, maybe get to 77, and then come back on again. So that's how this thermostat works. And again, it can be used with almost any heat source from ceramics to regular bulbs to heat mats to heat tape, and in fact, this is the thermostat we recommend for heat tape. Um, Lastly, I just want to go over, oh, see it went back on again. So uh, lastly, I just want to talk about what we were saying before about how you might want to utilize this in different enclosures. And um, you need to make sure that whatever you do, if you are taking um, multiple different enclosures and using this for one source of control, you want to make sure the heaters are similar. So don't try to take a mat and plug it in, and a, a top basking spot and plug it in, and figure that it's going to know what it's going to do. It's going to know what one of them is going to do. So if you put the probe by the bulb, it'll know what the bulb is going to do, but not the heat mat. So it really doesn't work like that. But you could take, say, six heat mats that are 50 watts and have them in six different enclosures, plug them all into here, and how you would do that is you would plug a six-strip outlet in here, and then you would plug all those those plugs into the six strip outlet and then it would heat it correctly because you would place the probe on one and it's going to treat them all the same. The same would happen if you had six 100 watt ceramic emitters on six different cages. As long as you have the probe by one of them and it's controlling one, it'll control all the same. Okay, So it's important to know how, to, how that works. And um, that's it. Again, I think it's a tremendous value. It's an excellent thermostat. It's, to me, one of the highest quality. We have a virtual zero defective rate on this product, and so uh, you can feel really safe using it with your animal. I'm Stephen the Pet Man, and I thank you for watching.